Pokemon Legend ZA is the next mainline series Pokemon title in the franchise. But we don't have a whole bunch of information right now about this game since we've had no further announcements since its reveal on Pokemon Day in February 2024. This game is scheduled to be released in 2025 at some point, but right now as of recording this video, we still don't have a date for it. So I thought it would be a good time to have a look back at the previous Pokemon Legends game and look at some of the mechanics and other features in this game I would love to see them carry over and add to Pokemon Legends ZA. As we know in Pokemon Legends Arceus, they strip back a lot of the features we would be used to seeing in a mainline series Pokemon title. One of these was held items. With the confirmation in the preview trailer that Mega Pokemon would be making a return in Pokemon Legends ZA, one of the things I would love to see integrated into Pokemon Legends ZA is having the ability for Pokemon to use held items once again. Now this would not only open up a whole host of features for Pokemon to be able to hold, boosting power items, to berries, to recovery items, to an array of things that we see in the main series titles. But as you know or may not know, for a Pokemon to Mega Evolve in most scenarios, they need to be able to hold a specific Mega Stone. So this means them holding an item. Now, unless they change the mechanics of Mega Evolution completely, revamp it, show it in a different light in Pokemon Legends here, then we're going to have to have held items coming back. And for me personally, this would be something that I would love to see. I would love to be able to hunt around Lumios City for different Mega Stones for maybe new Mega Pokemon that we get introduced or just get those Mega Stones and be able to attach them to Pokemon that we've seen from past games. The stealth mechanics in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I loved the idea of how much of a real life experience we got in Legends Arceus where sneaking up on Pokemon to catch it in the wild was something we could actually do using items like the stealth spray, ducking in tall grass so Pokemon didn't detect us. I think the idea of us not always having to engage in a Pokemon battle to capture a wild Pokemon was one of the most refreshing features introduced into these games. Along with the fact that if something went wrong and the Pokemon saw you, it would then attack you and it could actually faint your player character. This is definitely a feature I would love to see make a return in Legends ZA. The training system in Pokemon Legends ZA was so simplistic, using a combination of grit to max out your stats on your Pokemon, taking away the need for IVs and EVs, felt like a really great step forward and lowering the barrier to entry to new players for how to make a Pokemon stronger. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a huge competitive fan and I love IVs and the EV system, but there's always something about the simplicity of the feature that we had in Pokemon Legends Arceus that I just really loved and I hope to see make a return in Legends ZA. Now this next one is a real quick one, but Pokemon breeding was not something that we had the ability to do in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it's been the cornerstone in every other Pokemon main series title. So when this game dropped, it felt a little strange that this was something that we just couldn't do. Having a daycare center or some facility that allows us as trainers to breed Pokemon and get those cute Pokemon eggs to hatch is something I would really love to see in the Pokemon Legends series. Next up on the list is a trend we've seen a lot more in recent Pokemon games, and that is having the starter Pokemon shiny locked. I love going back into the older games and shiny hunting the starter Pokemon to have a playthrough with a shiny starter, and I know I'm not the only one who likes the ability to do this. I really hope this is something Pokemon decide to change. I get the idea of wanting players to play the game, so almost forcing their hands into doing this straight away rather than procrastinate, shiny hunt the starters at the start of the game and not get into the meat and bones of the story. But everyone likes to play the game in their own way. Just give us the option to be able to do this and unlock whatever starter set we are to receive in Lumio City. Now a new feature I would like to see is something a lot of players loved from the X and Y games and this was the Friend Safari. A new take on this in Pokemon Legends ZA would be really great to see. In most new Pokemon games we always have a new way or method to shiny hunt and more recently in Pokemon Legends Arceus in Scarlet and Violet we've had the expansion of mass outbreak events. Now I don't know how possible mass outbreak events are going to be in Pokemon Legends ZA because we're in a city setting, are we going to get actual outbreaks in the city? 
I guess it's kind of possible. But I think in my mind, what would make more sense in this sort of setting is having a facility like the Friend Safari that allows us as trainers to go into it, have ways to catch brand new Pokemon that aren't available elsewhere in the region, and also have a way to have boosted shiny rates. I would honestly love to see something like this return in these games. It also gives a big nod to Pokemon X and Y. We're in the Kalos region, so why not introduce something like this? It would also help push people to trade friend codes, etc., so they could unlock new safaris in their games, catch new Pokemon and more rarer ones. The Link Cord item. This is such a quality of life upgrade in Pokemon Legends Arceus and one I would love to see stay in Pokemon Legends ZA. This item basically allows players to evolve Pokemon with this item when normally you'd be required to trade those Pokemon to evolve them. Again, it's just a very simplistic item. Uh, but I love it and it makes completing things like the Pokedex a lot easier for players, especially those who can't readily trade with others in person or online. So please bring back the Link Cord item. Coming right back to Shiny Hunts in Legends Arceus, we had so many new and exciting ways to hunt for a whole host of legendary Pokemon. But as exciting as it was trying to stun a Thunderous in the coastal lands or hunt Giratina in a dark cave, all of these legendaries were unfortunately shiny locked. I really hope a little like this starter Pokemon and them unlocking them, for any new legendaries that are available to catch in Pokemon Legends ZA, they unlock these Pokemon and allow them to be hunted in their shiny forms. It would not only add an extra depth to the whole experience, but would hold a much longer lifespan to the game. The players had a slim chance to come across one of these rarer Pokemon in their shiny forms. In most Pokemon games, we occasionally come across characters that just encapsulate us and add to the whole experience of a story. And Volo from Pokemon Legends Arceus was one of these characters for me. Now, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played Legends Arceus or is planning to do so. So if you are one of those people, maybe just skip this next step. But Volo was a character that played a huge role in Legends Arceus story. And the way in which this story and the character developed throughout the game was one of the best aspects of this experience. I would love nothing more than to see this villain return in some way, shape or form in Legends ZA to be even an ongoing villain or mastermind behind all of the bad we need to undo in the Legends series. And the final thing, which you've probably already guessed, especially if you're a shiny hunter, it is the shiny jingle we had from Pokemon Legends Arceus. I loved this feature and so did many others. The jingle accompanied by the shiny sparkles animation in the game was something that made exploring Legends Arceus one of the best things to do. There really wasn't anything like that adrenaline hit and instant panic to save your game after hearing or seeing something in the distant shine. So out of all of these features I've covered today, I really hope this is the one that makes a big return. It not only allows us as players to have some indication a shiny is in our vicinity, but it also is a really great inclusive tool for those who have maybe some difficulties identifying differences in color. So please Pokemon bring back in Legends EA or at the very least make everyone happy and make it a toggle on or off function. So those that want a more authentic experience without the prompt can have it. And the rest of us who would love to see a return can enjoy this random jingle when exploring around the Lumio City region. These are my top 10 features that I would love to see return in Pokemon Legends EA. But let me know what you would like to see return or added in this new Legends title. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do drop a like on it. Do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon content. Thanks so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great day and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.